Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Nerd A Day podcast. How are you guys? I hope everyone's well. I hope everything in your lives are amazing. I hope you had a good day. Uh, where I'm from, Philadelphia, we had a pretty, pretty awesome day today. Weather was pretty decent despite yesterday raining really hard, and tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be really raining hard as well. Great day with my children, but that's not what you're here for, right? Unless you are, and then if you are, seriously, they had a great day. It was really awesome. It was really late while I'm recording this because we had such a good day. I missed out a lot of E3 stuff today because I had fun with my kids, which is awesome. But what I did miss out on was Ubisoft Forward. Ubisoft Forward today was uh, pretty decent, a little lackluster, I want to say, just from jump, just to give my preference of what happened with the, you know, the conference, I guess you could say, or the direct. It's kind of, I don't know what it is. I will say, awesome host, Yusef, killed it. Um, and your lovely co host killed it as well. So, let's just get right into it. Um, and I don't, don't want to say lackluster, like it's a bad thing. It's just, I don't know. I want big, bombastic, like, announcements, and we haven't had that yet. So, I think I should temper my expectations. But I'm, I'm really hoping that Xbox is just knock it out of the park. Um, but I think they might with some of the leaked rumors, which I won't mention here because that's not what this place is for. This is all about Ubisoft. And a quick little mention that Devolver Digital's, I'll, I'll do it here. Devolver Digital, look it up, watch it. I watched most of it, I finished the rest. All their E3s are absolutely amazing. They kill it every year, even if you don't like their games. Just watch it. It's like a cinematic universe. As a matter of fact, I'm going to link down below for no reason whatsoever, just because I'm talking about Devolver Digital. The complete backstory of what happened leading up to today's uh, Devolver Digital uh, E3 presentation um, by 61 Indie. Awesome, kind of funny best friends guys out there. They have a great, amazing group out there. And, and I know I've talked to Kelsey, Mike, and uh kyle you guys are killing it you guys said but you know i know you guys are from new york i'm from philly but if you guys ever need you know someone to pitch it whatever just let me know let your boy know um but yeah let's that i just want to get that out of the way because that was awesome and the actors are awesome and it's so fun to watch but what we're going to talk about is ubisoft forward as i mentioned at the start of the video so what we have here i'm just going to go down my bullet points right here they're off to the side right here my OBS is right here, and then you can kind of see the Sheikah Slate right here. Pretty cool. Uh, we're going to start off with what was formerly Rainbow Six Quarantine. Obviously, I believe last year was renamed Rainbow Six Extraction, or, yeah, no, I think it was Extraction. Of course, that name had to change. Uh, it was in development for a very long time. COVID hit. We were, a lot of us were in quarantine, like the world, and we saw made the right choice and be like, yeah, we got to change the name of this thing. Uh, really cool CGI trailer, followed by a deep dive by the developers. Um, they talked about containment zones, running the risk of losing all progress. So I equated it more to like a roguelike elements where like you just lose all progress. You can spend two hours or whatever and then just lose everything. Um, not my cup of tea. Rainbow Six has never really been my cup of tea. I do remember playing like some 360 games like Rainbow Six Vegas and things like that. And I do love the espionage world of like Tom Clancy uh, in film. Uh, I did like The Division. I did like that a lot. But film wise, like just saw Without Mercy. That's awesome. AKA in the beginnings of Rainbow Six, maybe. Um, if you read books, which I do not. Um, wow, I just sound like an idiot. Just That was what? I'm gonna look right there. That was about three seconds of me just sounding like an idiot. Anyway, besides the point, it looks really cool if um, Rainbow Six is your thing. This looks awesome. I like the alien combat stuff. Um, and uh, they're still supporting Siege if you don't like alien stuff. Rainbow Six Siege, touch on it now. They had like an upcoming roadmap for year six uh, and just kind of showing off like what they were going to do like briefly. That's your cup of tea. Stay with that. That's awesome. They're still supporting that game. Ubisoft's killing it in that sense. Next up was Rocksmith Plus, which was leaked earlier today by Gibson Guitar, <laughs> of all places. Um, Ubisoft, I think, got hit with the worst leaks, though I think the most substantial leak, I, me personally, the two substantial leaks, 
I think were for tomorrow's and they involve Xbox and Game Pass games. Uh, that's my own personal opinion. If you want to go like tit for tat, well, it's a bigger leak. Um, but it's a cool service. It seems like it's a it's an app. There's like a phone app, a PC. Uh, it's a learning app with a subscription service. Almost akin, I, I in my notes put it to like a social media platform where you can like I'm having trouble. Uh, my my niece Ari, I uh, believe, knows how to play the guitar. I can be like, all right, listen to this chord. Am I doing this right? No. Obviously, she also lives with me, so full disclosure, I could just literally walk in the living room, tell her to take her ass upstairs from the basement, and be like, yo. Am I doing this right? And she would call me an idiot. Um, it's the kind of relationship we have. No respect. No respect. Uh, <laughs> but next up, uh, Riders Republic, um, which was pretty cool. I mean, they just a lot of different planes of action they showed and uh, kind of cool extreme sports stuff. Um, it, it seems... I don't know, smaller and bigger in scope than I imagined. Like, uh, the lobby stuff seemed smaller than I assumed, but, like, the levels seem huge, and the fact that you can, like, wing glide and dirt bike, I think, at the same time, it's, like, insane. So it, it'd be, it's, it's going to be interesting when they do, like, I'm assuming the next week forward, we'll probably do, like, a bigger dig, deep dive, like, hey, you see that rock formation? Because they mentioned, like, you can, like, go, you don't have to just do crazy stuff. You can just go on top of this mountain and just take a photo, and, like, that's something that progresses the game still. So if you're into that extreme sports stuff, um, that's for you, man. That you know, good on you. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege, uh, as I mentioned earlier, came out next with like their year six stuff. Um, I, I will. I didn't mention this earlier, but crossplay and full crossplay and with was it Stadia PC, Amazon Luna. I think that might be it was coming 2021 and then and with also cross progressing being able to come to consoles and cross play consoles by 2022 um i i guess and this is where i should probably rewatched it but it's literally about to be one o'clock in the morning and i'm exhausted um it's like mount mom and dad if you like bluey um i i'm assuming that if you, like, I think cross progression is across all platforms. And I think cross play is just specifically like PC, Luna, um, Stadia, and cross play is just consoles. Um, but I'm not sure. I had to re look that up. Um, next was updates to line them to their live games, like a quick little uh, update trailer for For Honor, Trackmania, The Crew 2, which a lot of the stuff was on the pre show, um, the 45 minute pre show for some reason. Uh, I meant the fact that they had a pre-show. Uh, Watch those Legion, Legion, they showed, like, um, Aiden Pierce, things like that. But most importantly, for at least the Nerd Today channel, and my life in general, is uh, the mother effing Ninja Turtles are coming to Brawlhalla. Now, you've never heard me talk about Brawlhalla. I mean, mind you, the like, Xavier Woods is in it. The, you know, the kind of funny, commish, and, you know, G4 host, you know. Um he's in it and i didn't pick it up and it's a free game but you tell me my four favorite dudes now you've heard me talk about ninja Turtles multiple times on this channel i have another video i want to do about you know the recent like just announcement of the date and like i feel like there's some easter eggs in that like paper I haven't filmed that yet but my dudes and ninja turtles in there and they look like the 80s turtles the ones i grew up with so that's interesting i might have to download this and they're like, hey, you guys spent five dollars to play as the Ninja Turtles. So be it. So be it. Uh, <laughs> next was uh, some more teases for Ghost Recon. Uh, some stuff is coming to break out, um, and they're gonna have some more announcements for its 20th anniversary. Um, let's hope that they're doing a better anniversary than Nintendo is with Zelda. Um, it hurts when you have this tattoo. Jesus God, I'm so just fat. I'm just fat. But there's a Zelda, the Master Sword and Hylian Shield thing from Skyward Sword. It doesn't matter. I just feel like an idiot now. All right. Anyway, uh, just the stuff. Um, you know, 
that's a staple of Ubisoft. Uh, and this is the first time I think in forever it's not coming out on Wii. So rest in peace to the Wii. Um, you can finally just take it out back like old Yeller and put a bullet in it. Uh, that was a dark joke, and I'm very sorry. I actually didn't write that one down. It came off the top of my head, which I think is worse. Um, there's a musical artist, and, and part of me because I'm just not hip, and I like heavy metal and uh, like heavier rap. Uh, I'm not sure who this artist was, um, but... I felt like he had color contacts that matched his pink hair, and the man was fine. Like, fine. So, good on you, man. Um, also, those color contacts were cool, man. Also, facial features, fine. Whew. Got got a little warm when I was watching. Uh, next up, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> Why did I? <laughs> an idiot. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, where there was more uh, post gate content updates. They're supporting for a second year. Um, the discovery mode, uh, you know, where you can kind of learn about like ancient Norse history, like an actual thing. It's been since, I believe, Origins. Um, I have yet to play Valhalla. Uh, my friend loves it, but we both love Assassin's Creed games. Um, and I have not yet to pick it up um, or play it. So it'd be, I, I, I hear people talk good stuff and he, he, he generally likes it. So that's, that's enough for me at least. Um, so I want to play it and stuff like that. Uh, and then next up was Far Cry 6 trailer. Um, this, I will say during the day, I, was, I this is at the point where both my kids woke up and I had to get them ready for our fun car carnival day. Uh, which, again, not a bad thing. And there was also, like, Giancarlo Esposito just, like, shooting people. Uh, but it was, like, basically showing off, like, a little story beat. Um, felt like five minutes story beat just to show you how bad Giancarlo's uh, character is going to be. Um, he's just a piece of crap. And then next thing uh, was the season pass trailer. This leaked, I want to say, last night. Um, either last night or Thursday night, because I remember uh, posting it. As Wario sixty four posted it, I was able to watch it because it was still live at this point. And then I sent it over to the PlayStation Source Discord. You should check it out, by the way. Uh, Kevin has a pretty decent community there. Uh, shout out Owen uh, and Kev and things like that. But posted any leaks? No one's no one said anything or watched it. I don't know if they're not big. Rainbow Six fans. Um, but this seems cool. Uh, you get to play as Voss from Far Cry 3, uh, Pagan Min from Part 4, which is the most time I spent in a Far Cry, and then uh, uh, my niece's favorite, uh, Part 5, which she's currently going through little by little. Uh, you get to play as Joseph Seed. Um, I don't know. To me, I read this as like some pseudo, like, this is what they experience after you kill them because you kill them you know, or depending on the ending for five. God, no spoilers. Um, and then they also, it looks like an updated, like, remaster, I'm assuming, not remake specifically, of Blood Dragon, um, which a lot of people loved. Um, I think I also, to coincide with the recently announced uh, Netflix anime from uh, the Bootleg Universe from uh, Adi Shankar, uh, they're doing, like, a, uh, a Blood Dragon anime looks awesome colors look amazing adi shankar i'm saying that right i'm gonna look this up real quick adi adi shankar cool i was only saying that because that's my niece's nickname as well as adi so i just i was like i don't want to mess this up this guy seems really cool and like kind of crazy and i don't want to be a dick to him it's not fair to him i like his dread movie a lot and his bootleg universe stuff like the punisher and Power Rangers thing is really cool. Uh, besides the point. And then there's two big announcements. Well, well, I guess what would have been two big announcements. Uh, the last one was a big announcement, something we haven't heard in a while. Um, after Eve's Gimel. Uh, wow, I really killed that presentation. Damn. Good job on me, Carlos. Good job, Carlos. Good Bob. Bob. That's an inside joke for me and my wife. Um... That, you know, kind of BS and like, oh, you know, we're trying to be better as a company. I feel like he says this every couple of years because every couple of years we find out this guy was using the fact, you know, he worked at Ubisoft to kind of get with women, even though he's married. Besides the point, anyway, uh, we, uh, 
the the second to last news should have been it should have been like a one two punch of like damn that was awesome damn that was awesome uh i felt like it kind of fell flat and which this is why initially just going over my notes here looked over and was like ah, i'm not like super happy with this presentation but not like bummed out i think it was like a good first impression for day one i guess to say but uh i was beside my rant uh yeah there was a mario rabbits uh sequel called sparks of hope um shown this legit <laughs> like i think I, I woke up at 6 30 this morning which i think i called in one of my previous videos um then my son would wake me up and he did um and it was rough, and I needed coffee. Lots of coffee in G Fuel. G Fuel. Hi, my name is Carlos. Uh, peach ring is really good. Um, I'll be willing to try other flavors um, if you want to send them over. Um, my email is on my YouTube. Um, it's nerd.a.day.pod. Oh, nope, no dot after pod, but at gmail.com. You know, whatever. It's fine. What's up? <laughs> um. <laughs> But yeah, this uh, this leaked legit hours. I think I want to say like 9 a.m. And then the Ubisoft Ford was at 1 or 2 p.m. So Easter Standard Time. East Coast, Best Coast. Um, this is like legit, I feel like. And it was, <laughs> of all places, not Walmart Canada. Uh, not 4chan. Uh, I'd be, someone maybe said something on 4chan, uh, according to some rumors or reports. But, uh, no, this is leak because of Nintendo.com went live, uh, which I, I would touch upon this more, uh, during my coverage of, uh, Xbox's, um, conference, uh, with Bethesda. Hey, I said it right again. Nice. It's a, not a running joke that I, I butcher Bethesda quite often, um, because I think of my land heritage. Um... But yeah, this legit was just spoiled because of Nintendo, and I don't think it ever went down there. They were like, all right, we're just going to announce it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wish I liked tactical RPGs. I mentioned this in a previous video um, when talking about Metal Slug Tactics and, you know, how cool Final Fantasy Tactics was to play, but it just never clicked with me, and it was just difficult in my head to just be difficult. Um, I can tell you, the, the game looked amazing. Um I, I would I would wager to say a little better than most Switch games normally look. Um, is this you know maybe we'll see a Switch Pro before Tuesday? Uh, probably not. Uh, also, if you're watching and you need someone to cover uh, Nintendo with you, like just kind of be like a guest while you you know live reacts. Uh, I am free now, <laughs> um, and you know I'm willing to mingle. Um, like some weird divorcee um also nothing bad happened i just i planes fell through <laughs> uh shout out to you guys though still at waypoint love y'all uh waypoint podcast because someone got angry with you guys anyway uh yeah i don't know there's no switch pro that was rumored to be announced like early, a couple weeks ago because they're like oh we want to give time before e3 ends e3 is here and we ain't got we ain't got shit to quote uh uh, God damn it, what's that movie? Bill Brooks. My brain works better at before 1 o'clock in the morning. Especially if I had like a nap, maybe. Anyway, instead of like, this seems like a bit, it's not really a bit. Um, last uh, thing was Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, uh, shown for the very first time. Um, a few years back, they announced Ubisoft. This is, I mean, even before Disney owned Fox, aka now Avatar. Uh, this is, I don't want to even say this is like after Division, yeah, this has to be after Division One before even Division Two was announced. Uh, so that long ago, um, I can't think of the year, but they mentioned that you know, Spark Flight, I think, was whatever the name, Lighthouse, something like that, whatever James Cameron's production company is, uh, Fox and um, Ubisoft have formed a partnership to create a world based off the Avatar universe, like a game based off the Avatar universe, um, also using the Snowdrop engine, which is used in Division 1 and 2, and I believe Massive Games, UB Massive is making it as well. 
uh, which we'll see because they're also working on the Star Wars game, so who knows, um, and where everything lies. Um, but this is the first time we actually got to see it. Um, show kind of just like a lot of. Um, it didn't scream next gen to me, but I'm sure it will soon. It just needs polish. Obviously, you want to get stuff ready for like a big announcement. I, I, felt, I thought this was a pretty decent way to end this the uh, showcase. Um, a lot of people really love Avatar. Um, I like it a lot. Um, and going to Disney and Animal Kingdom and experiencing Pandora and the food and the ride and the flight of the Navi is that what it's called and that stuff was absolutely amazing but I'm not, it's like I love sci-fi I love James Cameron so yeah I like it but it's not necessarily like my biggest cup of tea I'd rather watch Serenity any other day than Avatar if I had to pick between the two but um, at the time of my notes when I was writing it down it's coming to current gen which that's why I'm not calling it next gen because those systems are out um, it seems just current gen and PC in 2023. So first, like one of the first of the many, like just specifically current gen uh, games. And uh, yeah, that was about it. Um, we have some uh, Shinobi. Uh, I'm gonna shout out Shinobi uh, 602 and Twitter who uh, had some. Uh, details. I don't know if there was like part of the Ubisoft forward afterwards and stuff, but there's it's gonna be first person, open world, uh, standalone story. You play as a Navi, uh, a Lightstorm. It's literally right there. Why did not read it? And it's collaborated with Lightstorm Entertainment, and uh, it would have been Fox back in the day when they made the initial um, pitch and everything. But it's Disney now because Disney owns the you know, and everything. Uh, but me can't sell out someone who's never been offered anything. That's a joke right there, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is 1 o'clock in the morning, my time, and we, I think, successfully recapped the, uh, you know, my thing, you know, my Ubisoft Forward 2021, E3 2021, you know. We're not done. There's going to be more videos, more stuff. I got to watch some more stuff since I was out all day. Having an amazing day with my wife and children and my friends, my best friends, some of my best friends. And, uh, yeah, for Carlos at the New Today Podcast. Love you guys. Deuces. <laughs>